Happy 4th of July, everybody, and nothing says America like a good old-fashioned Western. Or at least a movie that's trying to be one in a way. Everybody who created the Pirates of the Caribbean movies are back to bring us The Lone Ranger. The adventure that tells the story of a lawman named John Reed who seeks justice after the murder of his brother with his Indian partner Tonto. Now, this movie is kind of fun. Kind of. Performance-wise, everybody's good in this movie. Army Hammer's really good as Lone Ranger. You got our villains. William Fickner was great. Barry Pepper was great. Tom Wilkinson was really good. I didn't even know that was Tom Wilkinson until like two-thirds into the movie and I was like, Balcony Scarecrow. Helena Bonham Carter was really good, even though her character is so minimal that anybody could have played her. And finally, Johnny Depp. I thought Johnny Depp was actually pretty good, even though he's still doing the same weird mannerisms like he was doing with Jack Sparrow and other characters that he has been playing over the few past few years. His portrayal of Tonto was different enough, slightly different enough, to where I actually wanted to see a little bit more of Tonto. And at the same time, I wanted to see uh, more adventures with him and uh, and John Reed as the Lone Ranger because I honestly thought that that's one of the things that this movie had working with is that there was a good sense of chemistry between our two protagonists. You know, the whole bickering back and forth and, you know, one being from a different culture than the other, I thought it worked great. You know, they were against each other in certain moments, but then other moments they were helping each other out. And they were enjoyable on screen. Unfortunately, the fact that you have Johnny Depp in this movie means that you're going to have to market this movie as a Johnny Depp movie. So what do they do? They take the focus of the main story and push it more and give it more emphasis on Tonto's character. Even though both actors share about the same amount of screen time, let alone you know, screen time together, the story emphasizes more on Tonto. There's more backstory to Tonto than there is to the Lone Ranger, which is definitely uh, a, a detrimental to a movie that's called The Lone Ranger. And while we're on the subject of the screenplay, I would say that this movie is as by the numbers as you can get. I mean, the movie starts off a little simple, you know, dude gets his brother killed, so obviously he's gonna seek justice against his brother's killer, and he takes on the persona of The Lone Ranger. It seems, it seemed simple enough, but then they try to get all convoluted with it and try to throw twists at us that some wouldn't make sense and at the same time some you can see from a mile away. Ten minutes into the movie and you already know who the main bad guy is and you th look at these characters and go, really? Really? You couldn't tell that he was the b Okay. So what the movie tries to do in order to cover up that all those flaws is to just make this movie fun. Like I said before, the chemistry between our two leads is actually pretty good and the action sequences here are superbly entertaining. Now granted, they are over the top and ridiculous and if you're somebody who not only dislikes that but also dislikes something that I will admit does work for and against the movie is that there's an awful lot of conveniences in this movie. If you're somebody who doesn't like it that, oh, a certain item is there and of course the character is going to use that item to kill the enemy or, you know, something like that, you know, quick fixes, you know, little fixes and conveniences throughout here and there that you go that are completely non plausible if that gets on your nerves, this movie, you're gonna hate this movie because this movie is riddled with them but there's a certain tone to them that it's almost like the writers and the director this is this is written by the written and directed by the guys who did the Pirates of the Caribbean movies there are moments where the Pirates of the Caribbean movies are, are a little bit more plausible within the, the universe that they created for themselves than the Lone Ranger is but the tone that this movie strikes with is that it knows that some of these conveniences are just too convenient and some of these action sequences are so over the top and ridiculous that they know and they're almost telling they're turning their face towards you and saying just go with it just pretend that you're that kid in this movie you're not gonna give too much away but just pretend you're that kid and just you know watch the movie turn your brain off and have some fun with it and I'll admit for a good amount of the of the movie at least a third maybe two-thirds of the movie I was going with it in terms of being a kid and watching, you know, over-the-top ridiculous fun. But despite having a climax that was incredibly entertaining to the point where I was whistling that freaking racing song on my way home, it's that kind of climax that tries its best to make you forget about the movie's flaws, but eventually, as time goes by, I think about those flaws and I think to myself, this wasn't that great of a movie. And it's a movie that I'm probably not going to remember in about two or three days' time. Think of it this way. The Lone Ranger is a flat soda that still manages because of the fact that you put it in the refrigerator still tastes really good you drink it you say hey that wasn't that wasn't that bad that wasn't you know it was actually pretty good even though it's kind of flat I liked it and then later on you forget that you even had a soda and then you go on to drink something that's actually 
healthy for you like water. The Lone Ranger is a flat yet really delicious and really appropriate soda in during this hot summertime. I give the Lone Ranger a 7.3 out of 10 which is a C. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of the Lone Ranger if you did see it and as always take care. Hi ho silver away! Hi ho, silver! Away! <laughs>